Motoyard Independence is a typical Dutch design trolley yard, made from steel, launched in 2008. Boats like this are very suitable to make long trips. Independence came back from Italy in 2012. In 2013 the complete hull and superstructure was repainted and the electrical system exchanged. A complete new whisper power system has been installed this summer. Let's have a look on board and see what has been done. This is the deck house, a place for the owners to relax with a wonderful view to the outside world. This is the bridge with the navigation screens, the engine controls and various instrumentation. And at the right hand we have the dashboard for the electrical system. The analog functionality with the battery monitor, the DC power cube control, AC power cube control and at the left hand we have the touch screen. So the touch screen consists of four pages. And this is the first page. This is the overview of the total. This is the AC system with the indication inverter on off. The information about the inverter power rating, generator on off, shore power on off. And here we see the DC load consumption out of the battery. It's possible to start the engine, the generator, the genverter from here. Hardly any audible noise can be experienced in the owner's cabin. Less than 42 dBA. It's amazing. This is the back part of the boat. Over there we have the engine room with propulsion engines and over here we have the lazarette with technical installation like the air conditioning, heating and the power system. This is the whisper power system and let me explain what the functionality is. Over there we have the genverter two cylinder. It's a 6 kilowatt variable speed generator that's operating together with one DC power cube. The DC power cube is also connected to the shore, so it's a shore power support system, battery charger, and together with the generator, it's taking care of powering all the functions, the AC appliances on board. We have additional power in this boat. We have two more power cubes, and they can run together, all three, with a large generator, 25 kilowatt generator. AC power on board is always provided by the 10 kilowatt inverter with a 30 kilowatt peak sufficient to run the air conditioning, electrical hop and all high power and low power appliances. At this side of the ship we have the main generator it's the SQ25 fitted with a PTO power takeoff. PTO is taking care of the zero speed stabilization system on Anchorage. Over there we have the exhaust system and the various components and the shore power, 7 kW shore power connection taking care of a full galvanic isolation between ship and shore. 